Yeah. If I can, like, trade with them. Maybe I have something to trade. Toolbox. I have this wedding ring for some reason. Or maybe I have to bring the welder too, to, you know, weld the tires. I don't know if I have to go back to the village. I have like I have no idea at the moment what to do and what not to do. I feel lost in this game right now. I feel super lost. Like I have no idea what I'm supposed to do whatsoever. Or what I even can do. Like I have no idea. Can I reload this? We can reload it. Let's try that. I reloaded. I reloaded the battery into it. Okay, so this is coming with me then. Oh, uh, I have a gas tank for some reason. I have nothing to give in trade. Or maybe the violin. They shake their head. No. Good. I need a key. It's a metal door, so this is a very, very good, like, hideout. Oh, this crate is open now. Cool. Oh! What is this? Oh, there's nothing good inside, huh? Oh no! Body. A body of a man wearing a helmet. His head has been sev severed. Key to the underground. He has a key too. Weird book. Found weird book. Oh, he has a book like mine, huh? Head. A severed head inside the helmet. Someone, someone scratched out something, liar. Oh, it was the traitor guy, oh yeah, I can't see that now. Oh, uh, yeah, this is weird. Huh. Oh, my friend is dead. I have a new trader now. And he had a key too. Let's see. Old journal. I found an abandoned journal in the swamp hideout. I've managed to mark the village with the trees on the map thanks to Stuart. Spare parts for the compressor. The old journal also included information about a cottage located near the junkyard. According to the notes, I will be able to find some spare compressor parts there that may come in handy. The cripple. I met a cripple, old, crippled old man in the flooded village. He's the last living inhabitant there. He begged me to destroy the talking tree, destroying the talking tree. He claims I first need to get to the cellar located near the tree. That's how I will find its roots, which I need to burn. According to him, it's the only way to get rid of this ab uh, abomination. An advice from a blind, deaf old man with no legs is the only lead to have I have so far. It's too much. If it's not much. But I've grown acc accustomed to it. A talking tree. I encountered a talking tree. Its monstrous roots black block my way back. I saw human figures growing into its ba bark and branches. One of them tried to tell me something, but the words drowned in the other voices. Oh, okay, I'm not. I'm, 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 I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it right now. Do you guys feel it right now? I'm not feeling it. Do you guys feel something? I feel pain. And confusion. Mostly confusion. A little bit of, you know. Mostly confusion. 
Why is there a burning light here? Why did I step on mushroom guy? Why could I? Why have I an appetite for wood? Why was I killed from a centipede lurking into my house? Lurking in my house, sorry. Why is there a human Spider-Man? He's fast. He is throwing his body parts towards me. And the body parts grew into another man. I'm half dead. I will eat tree now. Nom noms. Nom noms trees. Hmm. Hmm. Locked. I need a key. Pff, okay. Hmm. Where am I? I have no idea. Good. I hate to have an idea. Oh god. I'm oh, sorry. I hate ideas and directions, you know. <laughs> Sawmill? Okay, cool. This looks like a place to, uh, you know, eat something. Mostly wood. I don't think that the forest appreciates uh, a sawmill to be here because, you know, the forest is like doing forest stuff. And Sawmill is like destroying forests, so I guess I will find scary monsters in here. Why is there a light now? Oh, I can. No, I can't get there. Right. Oh, I can get there. Okay. I am a liar. This route is like moving. Locked, I need a key. Oh, god damn it. So every place so far I visited is like, nope, you need a key, you need a key for that. Hmm. <sighs> okay. Oh, I found a tractor. Hmm. Guess, huh? There is something inside there, so this could be interesting. Interesting. Let's move down, get to the junkyard. By the way, I will blab everything I see, so...
Oh, it's the doctor again. Oh, he's looking not too good. This land hides more secret than your little fucking rat brain is capable of understanding. The doctor digs through the mud. I think he's looking for something. Deep underground, there's a current of electricity. Fucking electricity starts flailing, flailing his arms widely, throwing pieces of mud everywhere around him. And it flows underground from tree to tree. The doctor suddenly freezes, staring at me uh, with his arms midair. And it powers everything. It connects it all. If I had a light bulb, if I just screwed it into one of these branches, it would light up. I bet it fucking would. He bent over a small hole in the mud and continues digging. Maybe this is where my you're hiding. Maybe this is the way. Gossiping. Can you hear the trees sing? No. Maybe I should kill him. I'm waiting for you. I haven't sleep a wink in many days. I don't think this is good for me. I hear these voices all the time. Can you hear it? A heavenly voice? No, you don't. Why would you? You don't know her. Hmm. So he's crazy. Hmm. I should just like enter his suffering like bonk to the head. Who are you? I'm here. Oh, what is? I'm here. Trapped. What is going on? Cut me loose? I'm not sure about that. Oh, god freaking damn it. Oh, this is the cottage. Okay, okay, okay. Pick up the shovel. There's no room in my inventory. Huh. I will make room then. Locked, I need a key. Have the shed he talk. Who are you? Oh my god. The snail's speech in extremely slow and slurred slurred. He moves his jaw with great effort. It looks like it's about to fall off. His eyes sag from the sockets, they dangle from side to side, trying to keep me in the side. Why are you disturbing my forced rest? His right eye raised with great effort and wobbles. Your face, what's happened to you? Hmm. Scare me. You barely resemble a human, you should cover yourself. Suddenly, I feel a subtle shiver beneath my feet. The snail's body livens liven, liven up. Quiet, hear that? Do you hear that voice? The snail tucks his, his head inside his shell. She called to me. Can you hear it? The snail falls silent for a long moment. Longer moment. The inside of the shell is mostly completely silent. Call me. I'm here. Trapped. Bound. The snail's body suddenly lean forward. The wooden construction of the cottage creaks under the huge bulk. I barely keep my balance. Cut me loose, please. I need to get out of here. If you release me, release me, I will leave. Come back tomorrow and I won't be here anymore. You can li live in my house. Will you like it? 
You need, you need to cut me loose. You need to understand my predicament. I'm unable to do anything by myself. Uh, show item. Oh, you're going there too? Yeah. Everyone is going there. It's the road home after all. Gossiping. You're so ugly, I feel like puking. You barely resemble a human being. Wow. Once there was a beautiful clearing, now everything covered in water, and I have lost my gum boots. Do you need any gum boots on you? It was yesterday, or a few days ago, maybe a year. I woke up in front of the house. I thought I was dreaming. I took a step and fell down. I fell straight on the roof. How did this happen? I have no freaking idea, and I will leave you be, I guess, because I'm like confused. Right now, the shed key, so I can open this shed now, and I can like go places. Yeah, this is the shed. Ah, and now I can like. Nope. Bear trap. Useful scrap metal gun parts. Oh, this is like a map of some sorts for some region of this map. Um, yeah, about the whole, like, having stuff thing. Okay. I drag that away, I guess, so I can see this. Now I can, like, watch this, okay. Where am I? I freed the snail. Oh, cool. The snail. I found a cottage crushed by an enormous snail. It turns out that it can't speak. It begged me to cut it loose. I freed the snail. The snail has was paralyzed by some live tissue. Sort of an umbilical cord attached to the nearby tree. I managed to destroy it. It should be able to leave in peace now. Crawl away or something. I am super... Confused. And this sounds not right. This game is so confusing and now that I have giant talking snails, it's not getting better. It's not getting any better. I feel free again. When you return here tomorrow, I won't be here anymore. I will follow her voice and you will be able to live here. I promise. Do I become a giant snail too when I do that? I am confused. Yeah, because all these men are becoming snails. But this is the cottage, so I guess I can get the freaking thing there tomorrow. You know, the thing. I'm confused. I talked to a giant snail, and I have no clue what that means. But you know what? It's not new that I... God damn it. It's not the first time that I was... I, that I'm confusion from this game. I am confusion many times from this game. I have. I, I need, like... I don't know. Something. Yeah. So, oh yeah, my, my girlfriend is like uh, saying, if you're watching this right now and you think because the viewer count is very low, 
right now. If you think you are not getting countered by the system, please hit F5 to ensure that you, you know, watching. Because I have this huge problem with Twitch and he's like not counting viewers for some reason. And if you want to help me grow and show your support, then please hit the, like, refresh button. I know there will be like an ad and I apologize for that. I hate, I hate all these ads. And I'm not doing it for the ad, I'm doing it for my summary to get like the real outcome of people are what pe that of people watching in here. So thanks again for listening and thanks again for being here. You know, it means so much. And I apologize that I have to force you to do more to count as a viewer. So let's see. I you know I don't force you but I have a little bit more stuff now. Oh, I can get the lamp in this room. Cool. <laughs> More light. Oh, this is a doorway, an open doorway. This feels... Thank you, Sander. Yeah, this was... I was about to say that. This place is not safe. This place is not safe. This place is the worst to defense, to defend. Like, how should I defend this place? Like, for real. And I have like not explored much of this map either. So, oh yeah, yeah I wanted to cook my mat. Oh, I did edit that. Good, 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 good. Thanks. I need more wood. You know, I have this wood pile to the right. Maybe I should check it out. Oh, I should recharge my generator too. This hideout is so weird. This hideout is nowhere near safe, you know. I spilled a little. You had to refresh three times. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh my god, this is so bad. Do I have... Do I need nails for the fences too? Oh, I do need nails. Oh, okay. What What are these fences doing? Like, it's look, it looks nice now and people can't hop above this so much, so easily, I guess. So I should do this here too. 
Maybe. Hmm. Rusty oxygen tanks, they're useless, so I need like oxygen for something. Huh. Rebuild that well. Turn on the generator. Both lamps are now online. Let's, let's call it online. Yeah, I mean, I... I feel safe. <laughs> Stinky cheese for for Twitch math skills. Yeah, thank you. You, you mean... It, it means... Oh, sorry. It means so much. It means so much to me, you know, like... You guys being here and relaxing and chilling. But, and, you know, I... The, the the system is forcing you guys to to say stuff and all the the, the crap and I I feel like this is not the way how Twitch should treat the viewers you know it's like it's like if you're watching TV who who, who who's watching TV these days but it's watching you watching TV and your TV is constantly asking you if you're still watching you know like hey you are you still watching? In yes or no? Oh, we will play ads regardless, so I have no idea. Yeah, this is so bad, so please get this right. I, I hate to force people to, yeah, you have to, you know, write something in chat, blah, blah, blah. And yeah, my rules say if you enter this chat, yeah, it, it, my rules say say hi, but it's not to interact. It's like if I go into a place, I say hi when I enter, like a, I don't know, a building or like a, a shop or something like that. I, I say hi to the people like behind the counter, right? If they, you know, if, if it's like n not in a grocery store, but you know, because we have no people that greet us in the front of the gro grocery stores and stuff like that. But if uh, like. A guy says hi in the freaking like grocery store. I I say hi too, like for sure. Okay, let's survive this night. Not. Oh my good shovel! Oh, can I can I re can I re my good shovel? Oh, I can repair it. Good. Oh, this is the perfect spot for this lamp. Yes. And this lamp needs to be in this spot then. Yeah, this is much better now. Look at this. I ha I can't see so much now. Oh, it's a dog. This will take a while. This will take like two hours. Oh, maybe not. No, don't destroy my window. No, 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 no. This is my window. You can't destroy that. Stupid dog. Evan. What is this? Why did I have to ask? What is this? Dead centipede! Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, I guess. Oh, he's possessing body parts? G good. Strange. 
Look how weird this angle is. Look how weird this is. So I can't see the dead body from here. And I can see all in front of me. But I can't see this little triangle here because of the shadow of these two lamps. But I can't see behind the shadow. Like how can you? Is, is this a thing in your vision? This is not possible in your vision, right? Is this possible? Like that you have a blank spot inside your sight? In your, in, your, in your, like, clear line of sight, is this possible? I wonder. Yeah, I guess it's possible, but I guess your mind will, like, fill out the space if you are familiar with the place, right? I mean, it, it's possible. If, 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 if there is a long corridor and there is, like, light on one... in the middle of the corridor, and you're in the be beginning of the corridor, and you have light around you, and, like... You see the lamp on the other side. It's possible that there is pitch blackness between you and the next thing, right? Okay, I guess I can fight them because they're so fast and, and, and aggressive that I can't stop them. What was that? Like, for real? He, like, mangled me so fast. I couldn't even react. I couldn't even get out of his reach. Or, 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 or. It's, like, it's like Jojo. It's like fucking anime, dude. What was that? I, I Oh my god, I'm like, I hate this. Take my stones. What? Like... Okay. I guess this is a thing, a thing now. Like, if he spawns next to me, I'm dead. Good. Like that. Cool. Very good. V very gameplay, you know. Can't do shit about it. Feels right. Good. Let's explore more, I guess. Oh, no, no, it's, let's go back to the cottage, because we know that the thing is gone now. This was not unpleasant, like, you fight the knight, and you, 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 you know, you, you try to... Clap. You try to survive? And it's almost done. And then you get like crushed because he decides to spawn next to you. Frustrating. 100. I'm not dislike it. But it's okay. Like get, I have to get better. This is basically what if what I have to do. This is good, he couldn't reproduce. I'm here now. He was chained. Okay. Alligator? I guess? Oh, 
Ah, oh, he has the entrance, okay. Should I, like, live down here now? And become a snail guy? Doing snail business? He's gone now. For real. Oh, I hear a radio. Notebook. We have nothing to eat since the flood. I've caught some snails and frogs. Better this than nothing. I'm out of the crosswords. I'm out of the crosswords. I found last year in the old wardrobe at the junkyard. The only thing that's left in the in it that left is to continue writing the journal and listening to the strange radio in two days. I will visit the junkyard again. Maybe I'll finally fight a tape recorder or something that will allow me to record this weird signal. I feel there is some meaning hidden behind it. What kind of business is snail business? I don't know. Eating slow, maybe? I have no idea. I'm hungry. I'm eating grass and whatever I find in the water. I've seen some strange men between the trees. The tree between the trees. They are not locals. They do not hide. They're dressed in strange clothes, but I was too far to take a better look. Besides, I'm alone, and there were at least three of them. Maybe I'm delusional, or maybe these old ruins aren't empty. I found a blank tape and a broken tape recorder. Maybe I can fix it and do something with it. I've also found some other useful things. I'm writing them down and left them for later. I don't have the strength to wear all them uh, to wear all them all on my back sorry is it possible that the radio tower emits the strange signal it's been a couple of years since it's been turned over the woods have blocked the way to it but no other signal reaches this place from outside it must be that tower i need to take a break from this radio i hear this voice everywhere it's strangely familiar i can't get it off my head an old rusty radio equipment it's due to the floor dead body a dry corpse overgrown with small roots 